I want to show you how to create a value scale and a gradation scale. So first we're going to use our ruler at the top of our paper and I want your value scale to be seven inches long and have one inch boxes. And for the value scale you can use the width of the ruler. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to mark the end of the ruler and then I'm going to come over to where it says seven, so seven inches, and I'm going to come down underneath the seven and I'm going to come back. So I'm creating something that's the width of the ruler. Now I want to mark at each inch, so one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, and six inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create boxes. Now with a value scale, a value scale, each box has to have its own identity. Okay? And I highly suggest you start with the darker value first, not the lighter value. When I've taught this in the past, I find students get too dark too soon. So start with a darker value first. And it doesn't matter whether you put the dark over here or the light over here. I always tend to put it on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to shade in. And I want you to shade in the whole box. And you want to get that box as dark as you can possibly get it with the lead of your pencil. So you might end up doing some cross hatching, which means that you're going back and forth in different directions to kind of really fill that box in so that this is looking as dark as you can. You want to get it to look black. Now the next box over should look like a next door neighbor to this to this square. So it looks like they belong next door. They don't want to look the same, but this should be the next door neighbor to this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start kind of shading this box in. I want you to notice that this box doesn't quite look like it's a next door neighbor of this box yet, but I'm going to keep kind of cross hatching back and forth until that box is looking like a next door neighbor. It needs to look different, but it needs to look lighter. And so the next box, we're going to continue going down the line. And again, you can cross hatch. Going in different directions, but this box should look lighter than this one. Do you see how each one looks slightly different and it's slightly getting darker? And as I come down, I'm going to lighten this up. Now, you're, when you do this in fifth grade, when you get to the junior high, you're going to be able to get 10, 12 boxes. You'll be able to, the better you get at this, the, the more boxes you'd be able to show that variety. And actually here, I actually could probably go even further because this should really be white, but if you look at this, uh oh, I might have made this one look too similar. So either I have to darken this one up a little bit or I have to go back and lighten this one. And I think I have enough room here to kind of play with this one a little bit to make this one slightly, slightly lighter than this. But do you see how this is barely probably going to have anything? And then my white would be here. But you could have a white here too. I have more experience uh, with values than probably you do, so if this needs to be your white box, that's okay. But do you see how there's a transition from light to dark? Okay, and I've used cross hatching, which means I'm going over uh, multiple ways. Cross hatching is kind of like tic tac toe, and then I'm, you know, only with my lead the whole time, kind of like what you were saw me doing. The next scale is going to be a gradation scale. Now this scale is going to be seven inches long only by half an inch. So you have to do a little more measuring here. So seven inches, again at the top of the ruler, and then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to create a half inch here and a half inch here. So this should be a skinnier scale. Now there's a couple things you want to be careful of. This is called the gradation scale. Now, one thing you'll notice, if I shade up and down, do you see how I'm automatically making vertical segments? The difference between a gradation scale and a value scale 
is a gradation scale gradually changes from light to dark. Notice the kind of the prefix of that word, Gra gradation, gradual. Gradually changes from light to dark. So we don't want to be shading up and down. I'm also going to suggest holding your pencil a slightly different way. First I'm going to sharpen this pencil a little bit. But instead of holding my pencil straight up and down like this, using the tip of the pencil, I'm going to try and use the side of the pencil. So if I hold my pencil here, now watch, if I go ahead and grip, there's my pencil. I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to grip my pencil lightly, it doesn't have to be a real strong grip, grip my pencil lightly. I'm going to turn it to its side and I'm going to use the side of the pencil and I'm going to press down. Now this all has to do with the amount of pressure you put on your pencil. So start again with the darkest first. And basically what you see up here, you should have down here. So as you come down your paper, come down that little gradation scale, I'm going to lighten the pressure that I have on my pencil. And do you notice, am I seeing a strong transition? Do I see the line here, down here? I don't want to see that line. I want it to be a gradual transition. So it's a gradual change from light to dark. And if you see like a little line right in here, then go back and see if you can't just blend it in to kind of make that line disappear. If you think things should be a little darker, then go back and make them just a little bit darker. So that transition will happen. And again, when you get down here, you're barely probably putting a lot of any pressure on your pencil at all. It's just going to get lighter and lighter until you get to the white down here at the end. You should have white in through there. So it's a gradual transition from light to dark. And that's a gradation scale. So again, gradual from light to dark, whereas these are segments. You have segments. Each one is individual, has its own identity, but it gets darker as you go, and this one's a gradual change.